Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I mean, it's money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. It's my first NFL video of the year. It's like everybody else. Uh, Thursday night game, 8-20, September 5th. We got Ravens at Arrowhead Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs, Arrowhead Stadium. Uh, lines open up at plus three, over on the 47. Basically stayed the same. We could have gotten that two and a half throughout the week. Uh, it's at plus three right now. Uh, 46 and a half. And Ravens is on the dog, plus 127. Uh, weather for tomorrow, 85. Uh, tomorrow, yeah, it's late. It's Wednesday night. It's Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. So for Thursday, 85 degrees in Arrowhead. No rain, five mile an hour winds. But uh, let's start to check out the money. See where the money's at. In the hell? All the money is basically on the Chiefs. You look over here to the right. I fucking did it again. Sorry. Uh, fifty-eight percent of the money right now is on the money line for the Chiefs. Sixty-seven percent of the bets. Uh, spread forty-six percent of the money on the Chiefs. And everyone, the money's on the under. Everyone's saying the under. Uh, you know, first games, we don't have any stats, data, analytics. Just can go off of what happened last year with the players that are still there. Some players are gone for both teams. Uh, I can tell you the Chiefs got a good defense. They had a good defense last year. It's basically the same. And the Ravens O line. Uh, I think they lost three three linemen, so we, we really don't know how they're gonna be. So and the way I'm breaking it down is that's gonna play effect in this game. Uh Chief defense was able to get into the you know, get to them last year, so missing them three key plays, I think that's gonna be a problem. But uh Definitely leaning to the under like everyone else. Leaning Chiefs. I don't got a bet for them, though. But, uh... Who knows? And Derek Henry could just act nice. But, uh, I don't think it'll be enough. Not for Patrick Mahomes. And... I don't know. I really don't know. But it's probably going to the under. Unless we have this crazy shootout. But I do have a couple play props. Let's get into them. I got Justin Tucker kicking points over six and a half. Now, I've been saying this all year. You got to have, especially for football, because there's so many lines. You got to have multiple books. Uh, each books have them, you know, different odds as well as different lines. And you want to get the best lines. So if you don't have them books open... Slowly get them open. Make sure you take advantage of, uh, you know, all the uh, the deposit bonuses or whatever you can do. Because, you know, they can help get you started. Start funding your bankroll if you don't have one. But, uh, yeah, we're going to talk. I played this many times last year. I mean, he's spot on. Dude is good. So, uh Kicking points over six and a half. So I figure if they get at least two field goals and one, at least one touchdown and seven right there. Uh, Caesar's got it at the best, 131 right now. You can play the DraftKings minus 135. Uh, ben MGM 140, you wouldn't want to do that. I'm in New York, we don't have Bet 365. But uh, yeah, last year, 
and he was killing it. I mean, besides them doing shitty in the Chiefs game. He's exceeded six and a half points, 12 of his last 14 games, but we don't need to get all into that. We just know that man can kick, he don't miss. He got a good leg, and uh, they don't get into that end zone a few times. They might come up short. A good red zone team, at least they were, but I'm thinking six and a half points. He should be good. All right, so next up, I'm going to just jump right into it. Uh, this goes back to what I was saying about the O-line for the Ravens. So I think the Chiefs D is going to get at them, and what happens when that happens? Lamar is going to be flushed, right? So he's going to try to run. Uh, so I'm going to rush it in terms of over eight and a half. Now, it's up to you. You try to play his yards. I think they got his yards at like. Let me check it out. Uh, at 50. I mean, he can bust 50 at one run. He had 54 in that last game versus them. I'm just saying, eight and a half attempts. I mean, he's got to get nine. It is kind of a lot, but you know, if he run, if he runs every one time out of four sets before the game's over, it should all add up pretty quick. Uh, Russian attempts. Yeah, so over eight and a half. Fans look at it the best right now, minus one hundred two. I think that's see that's my breakdown of what's gonna happen. The Chief D is gonna be getting at them and he's you know, he's he's gonna be flushed out. I think the Ravens are gonna be behind. So you know, third downs instead of giving it to Henry, they're gonna be trying to pass it. He's not even gonna be in there in the third down. And that leads to my next play. We got uh This might be my favorite play, actually. Justice Hill. Now, this number is a little different in a few spots. The best line is uh, seven and a half. Over seven and a half receiving yards. I'm not saying it'll be a third down play, but I'm just saying this. Basically, one pass to this guy. He's, uh, he's the other running back. Derrick Henry's not much of a receiving back. I mean, he can catch, but he don't do it that often. His so last four or five games of last year. Uh, Hill's, Hill's been killing it. So that's how they end it. It might be how they start. With seven and a half yards, he can get that in one play. So before that number goes back up to, I'm sure by the second, by the second week, it'll be at like 14. Seven and a half is just too low. So I'm rocking with it. Hell, let's get it. Seven and a half. All right, so next up, I'm going with uh, Kansas City side. I got Pacheco, anytime touchdown. Uh, plus 105, FanDuel. Uh, did real well last year. Not too well. But uh, I believe he was hurt in the beginning of the year. And once he came back and, you know, he was he was healthy. He was running good. You see, he had basically a touchdown every game, including one in first Baltimore. I just think they're going to get, you know, they're getting near that red zone. I mean, of course, they got Kelsey and everyone else they can handle, but I just think they're going to try to stuff it in with Pacheco. He runs hard every play, and uh, I just see him getting in that end zone at least once. So that's why I'm rocking with him. You know, people who put in effort can't wait for this football. And as sick as WNBA, you know, I want to see people who, who 
who like to play this sport and want to earn a check. But uh, yeah, Pacheco, he's just going to bust it in. He could break it loose, but uh, I feel like it's going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like it'll be a pass. I get into my next play with uh, the receiver, but, uh, you know, get down inside that five or seven yard line and just have him stuff it in. But, uh, yeah, so Pacheco, anytime touchdown. All right, so this last play, uh, I was undecided. Uh, obviously, use your discretion. As I say all the time, I bet my money, you bet yours. But uh, Rashid, Rashid Rice receptions over five and a half, minus 125, 130. I played it, actually, uh, Draft Kings. Now, Baltimore last year, 22nd in receptions allowed. I know they got a couple of different plays and stuff, but uh, Kansas City got Hollywood Browns out. So obviously Rasheed Rice will be the number one. It's last, what's this on? Uh, it's last 10 games of last year. Cleared this eight out of 10. No, I mean, don't really mean he's gonna do it this year, but uh, Correlation with this, I was gonna play his uh, his yards. They got it at uh, fifty nine, fifty nine and a half. Was that sixty and a half? So definitely look for it. But uh, I figure if he gets five and a half, six receptions, he's gonna go over his yards. But uh, Catch twenty two because I mean he's quick he can he can break one off and get that in two receptions. So you know I mean last year I think he was averaging uh, last last ten games averaging twelve yards of reception, longest about thirty twenty six. Uh, last 10 games, seven receptions, nine targets. So uh, definitely capable. I know they got a few extra wide receivers too, some rookies and shit. But, uh, you know, it's a toss-up. First game's always tough. Uh, use your discretion. Uh, yeah, so... It should be good. I'm glad uh, it started. It's going to be a little tough in the beginning. You know, it'll be a lot of plays. It'll just kind of be a, a feeling out type of situation. But uh, once this first week gets through, it's, it's going to be on and lovely. So uh, if you could like the video, new viewers, if you want, subscribe. Turn the notifications on. Look out for my live bets. Definitely. Learned how to take advantage of them, uh, as well as this way you get all my plays, WNBA, whatever I'm betting on. I try to be as transparent as possible and uh, just keep you in the loop with uh, different tips, techniques, and uh, some sports betting knowledge. I appreciate everyone. Eat some money to name game, paper to game. Let's go.